It was pretty incredible. Uh, one, there was a moment there when you looked up and it was a, it's, a, it's a beautiful day. And you're looking at Mauna Kea and Mauna Loa and a beautiful blue ocean. Uh, but yet, I've got to say, you know, my stomach's been in knots um, for the last, you know, 18 hours. You know, because it, when you're charged and given the responsibility to protect the island community, you know, any loss of life is, is one too many. And so you're up there thinking, you know, what's coming? You know, is it going to be 6 feet, 20 feet, 40 feet? Is it going to be 3 waves, 5 waves, 10 waves? You know, are we going to lose, you know, 100 yards of coastline, 200 yards of coastline? It's the uncertainty um, that really um, keeps you on your toes. And when we flew up, you know, the surge, you always hear the, the mythical, the ocean's going to pull out, you know, and then it's going to come back, and the ocean pulled out. I mean, Wailua River, watching it suck out from up above, and then, you know, there's a Blackhawk, so we hovered, and we saw the ocean just pull. It was, I mean, Wailua River emptied, you know, and then we saw um, Coconut Island, right, Hannah? I mean, you're on that. It's Coconut Island just exposed. It just lifted up out of the ocean, and we're thinking, uh-oh. You know, this is it. But instead, oh, what was there? Instead, it was just a surge. And then it, it surged again, and then it surged back. And then we were thinking, how many times, and is it going to get progressively, you know, stronger? Is it going to reach a point where there's going to be a wave? And we didn't, there was no certainty up in that helicopter for the whole hour and a half, almost two hours we were there. We kept thinking, oh, this is it. So we were on edge the entire time. Yeah.